It's time to be about that life, the startup life. Here's your host, Dominic Lawson. All right, Startup Nation, I hope you're ready to receive some value today. My name is Dominic Lawson. That's G on the ones and twos. This is the Startup Life, powered by KWM, the voice AM 990, 107.9. I just want to say, you know what? For those of you who keep coming back each week, thank you so much. We appreciate you so much. We couldn't do this show really w- without you. You know, it really is about our audience because uh, that's who we cater to. That's what we do. But before we get to today's guest, who's an amazing superstar, an amazing superstar, I kind of want to share with you a few dates. So I've been telling you for a while now that we got some big interviews coming up, right? And so for, you know, it took some negotiating, took some logistical work, but we finally got dates uh, for these interviews. So on February 11th, we have Tom Galasano, the founder and chairman of Paychex, coming on the show. On March 3rd, we have Mark Randolph co-founder and first CEO of Netflix. That's going to be a big one. That's going to be a big one. Definitely got to ask that Netflix and chill question for sure. And on April 21st, we have Joel Peterson. He is the uh, Stanford professor, Stanford business professor, and the chairman of JetBlue Airways, also known as the Mr. Rogers of Silicon Valley. I'm going to have to ask him about that for sure. But today, Startup Nation, we have the founder and uh, brand strategist of Cheers Creative. She has been featured in Forbes magazine and Essence. She is the one and only superstar, Dana James Mwange. What's going on, boss lady? <laughs> I'm good, Dominic. I'm good. Awesome stuff. You ready to pour some knowledge in the Startup Nation today? I am. Awesome. Let's <laughs> do it. So first things first, superstar, let me ask you this. Because, you know, you've been on this amazing journey. Kind of share that origin story, if you would, and how you got to this point. Oh, goodness. Mm-hmm. Uh, the origin story is mm-hmm. big. You no, know, super, ha- super, super heroes have origin they stories. They do. Right? You're right. <laughs> You're right. Um, so, yes, I've always been drawing. I was always an art kid. I decided to go to school and major in graphic design because I was mm-hmm. like, huh, I get to take art and make money with it this way. I graphic that. design. That's what, you know, I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. Um, went and did that. And in college, um, I became pregnant with my first son. Mm-hmm. Um, and I had to sit out. And I was like, what am gotcha. I going to do? I said, well, t- I can do freelance while I'm waiting to get back into school. Gotcha. That'll be my curriculum. For sure. Um, and what ended up happening is I got a portfolio full of real world work. So when I came back to school, I was able to get internships, do all types of cool stuff. Uh, graduated and did some amazing graphic design work, y'all. Like of course. checkbooks, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, the exciting world of checkbook making, absolutely. <laughs> Package design for like dryer balls Ooh. and hangers, all the stuff, the stuff that you, you dream of. Absolutely. Uh, but in doing that, I was doing it for who? SunTrust, Wells Fargo, right. Discover sure. Card, Target. Uh, some of the packaging that I've designed is still sitting on the shelves today mm-hmm. for these uh, companies. And right. I came into contact with uh, brand guides for Walmart, Target, Lowe's, Home Depot, CVS, Container Store, Bed Bath & Beyond. And I was like, oh, okay, it takes a lot to maintain a brand. Absolutely. I want to take this knowledge and give it to and do things for dope community uh, business owners in my community, the Absolutely. makers, the artists. Um, and so I took that knowledge and I was like, if I can do it for these big corporations, I can do it for these, uh, business owners. And so Cheers Creative was born. Absolutely. Um, and I, when I first started, I went from, I was doing mainly print stuff, print design and things like that. And I went into web design cause I wanted to protect what I was making for business owners. Right. Um, yeah. And so that's a shortcut, <laughs> but <laughs> Fair enough. Here, here we are. Fair, yeah. Fair enough. Uh, your first son, you're talking about Isaiah, correct? Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. he, he came in the studio this morning and had me jealous cause he got them, he got them waves yeah, going. He got folks seasick. Right. He got yeah. me seasick. I'm about to, you know, <laughs> mm, nah, I'm just playing. But anyway, <laughs> let me ask you this because you you, you talked about your origin story. Uh-huh. You talked about college, and I know you went to the University of Memphis. Uh-huh. Talk about your time there a little bit. Yeah, University of Memphis was really good for me. Um, I felt like I learned the fundamentals of graphic design. I felt like I didn't just learn design programs, but I learned how to be a designer. Gotcha. And gotcha. I think that's what's um, missing in a lot of programs. I hear that. Uh, other, you know, graphic design programs. I learned how to conceptualize uh, and different things like that. And I actually did some real world work 
in school, you know, in those classes. I learned how to work with people and, you know, all that stuff. And it was really cool uh, to graduate from there and then recently be invited back um, as a guest instructor. I did mm. a, a custom workshop for the graphic design students, just letting them know what's about to come. Right, right. You know, they need to know. So, Absolutely. You know, I got to wake them up, <laughs> you know. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Thank you for sharing that. So yeah. I want to ask you this. When you, when you think about, because I know you also went to Wooddale, and we're going to talk mm-hmm. about that a little bit uh, mm-hmm. later on. Uh, you know, when you think about your time at Wooddale and you think about your time at the University of Memphis and you wanted to, you know, dive into the world of art and graphic design and things of that nature, you mm-hmm. know, across the country, mm-hmm. we're starting to see people want to defund the arts and defund mm-hmm. that prospect. Mm-hmm. Talk about what art has taught you, not necessarily about art, mm-hmm. but entrepreneurship. Hmm. Art has taught me a lot <laughs> for sure I, that's such a that's a big question um outside of i think art it just always challenges me to be a creative i hear that um yeah. and it also got me to thinking that really no oh. matter what your business is you you can be a creative if mm-hmm. you do taxes if you are a dog walker or a babysitter if you're finding innovative ways to do those things you could be actually more creative than an artist who's holding a pencil, but not necessarily pushing boundaries. For sure. You know? So, yeah, artists just taught me to just kind of just stay, yeah, creative. I hear that. Thank you for sharing that. Because, mm-hmm. like I said, I, I and, and I'm so glad you said that, because mm-hmm. I've always been of the belief that art, you know, and the arts and things mm-hmm. of that nature really do uh, produce that creativity, that innovation, that innovative problem-solving entrepreneurial mindset. And mm-hmm. so... I hate it when I see, you know, stories around the country. It's like, you know, why do we need the arts? It's like, you know, this, that, and the other. Because I, I'm part of a board for Hot Foot Honeys, a nonprofit here in, in the city. And mm-hmm. we have to write to uh, the uh, Tennessee Arts Commission every year to, mm-hmm. like, you know, plead, you know, to talk to uh, states and legislators about, like, funding the arts and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So thank you for sharing that for sure. So I want to ask you this really quickly before we go to break. I want to know, how did you come up with the name? Uh, Cheers Creative. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I know Esso is your partner. Mm -hmm. Did I say it right? Yeah. Okay. Uh Esso is your partner. Talk about the the dynamic between you two. How do you guys work uh, together? Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, I started, actually, when I was working by myself years ago, before me and Esso became creative partners, Mm -hmm. um, I was in a coffee shop and I mean, I, we, he had just so happened to come up there and I was like, you know, I'm thinking about jumping ship at my job and I'm going to work for myself full time. I'm going to call it Cheers Creative. He was mm. like, Cheers? <laughs> what? Like the TV show? I was thinking that too. And I, But I knew that through repetition, I knew that through the right visuals and continuously telling why I want to call it Cheers, that I would be able to make that word mine. I hear that. You know? Right. Um, and so he, he was like, name it Salute. I said, that sounds like a cologne, man. <laughs> I don't want that. And, um, and years, now, years later, he's like, you were so right about that. You gotcha. know? But um, I call it Cheers because I feel like, you know, when you say Cheers, you're more than likely at a celebration. You have people around you who helps you get somewhere, either through encouragement or helping you even more than than that. Um, and you're coming together exclaiming Cheers. You know, mm-hmm. it's a moment... You know, you're celebrating where you have achieved a milestone with the people around you who supported right. you in some way. And so Cheers is like a nod to my desire to, to create long term relationships with that. people and to create solutions that give you something to celebrate. For sure. Oh, For sure. you launched this podcast, which is a, a true thing. We um, did a podcast graphics and branding um years ago in uh for a, another podcast and um they were like the number one podcast in that category mm-hmm. within like what a very short time span of releasing so like be, we just want to give you know have success stories and results not like just that. visuals yeah i hear that i appreciate that so mm-hmm. we're going to go ahead and take a quick break and when we come back i'm going to ask dana about her you know her philosophy behind branding and strategy and things of that nature you are listening to the startup life on kwam the voice am 990 107.9 
Startup Nation, we tell you all the time that no one does anything great on their own. That includes starting a business or a nonprofit or even becoming a thought leader or an influencer. My point is that you need a team to do it successfully and responsibly. And that is why you should contact DR and Associates. Danielle and her team provide branding solutions along with digital and social media marketing that provide tangible results you are looking for. No matter if you are a Fortune 500 company or an author looking to make an impact, DR and Associates needs to be part of your team. They are one of the few firms whose leadership has been recognized by Google, which is proof of concept that they are very good at what they do. Contact DR and Associates today to grow your online presence. The number is 615-933-3681, or you can visit their website at drandassociates.com. Also, make sure you follow their Facebook page as well. DR and Associates, providing real clients with real results. This episode of The Startup Life is also brought to you by our amazing partners at SCORE Memphis. Look, entrepreneurship is hard, and there is nothing like a mentor that can help you navigate those waters. And that is what SCORE provides. SCORE mentors provide years of expertise and have resources that will have you flourishing and profitable on your path to entrepreneurship. If you are in need of a mentor, give SCORE a call. The number is 901-544-3588 or go to their website at memphis.score.org. The link is there in the show notes. Startup Nation, Kenda and I, along with our daughter Zoe, have this thing called Target Fridays if she's had a good week at school. We stop by the snack bar for popcorn and mermaid ices. Startup Nation, don't judge me until you've tried them. Those ices are really good. Anyways... We then head over to the toy section so my daughter can add to her LOL doll collection. My daughter is a pretty good student, so you can imagine that we have spent a small fortune on LOL dolls. However, I can take solace in the fact that Target makes it affordable to buy those LOL dolls and anything else we need as a family. That's because Target believes you deserve quality at an affordable price. And when you're entrepreneurs like us... That's extremely important. But great deals and quality products are not exclusive to the brick-and-mortar version of the retail store. Target.com has even more exclusive deals that you can appreciate. And when you spend over $35, shipping is free. And I know we all love free shipping. We love to purchase the amazing kids' clothes for Zoe from the exclusive to Target Cat and Jack line when we go online. So the next time you listen to the show and you are reminded that you need something for your home, Start your Target journey with the link in our show notes, where you can expect more and pay less. All right, welcome back to The Startup Life. We're talking with Dana James Mwange. Now, during the break, Dana, we were talking about how, you know, systems and what they teach in college, Mm -hmm. uh, but they don't teach stuff like aesthetics and stuff like that. Kind of break that down Mm -hmm. a little bit, if you would. Yeah, so, you know, we were talking about, you know, how people are kind of quick to want to take art out, right? you know, of of schools. And I just kind of liken that to, you know, like if you, you know, when you see a car, yeah, it, it you want a car that has a great engine and has great systems. Right. Because that's the reliability part. That's the part that keeps you safe. Of course. But the part, what also makes you buy it and everything is the outside. The The, the paint, yeah. the shape, and all that other stuff. And so, you know, art has, a, it does a lot of things. Um, it, it it sends a signal to people, hey, this this might be for me. This store might be for me. Right. Or this institution might be for me or whatever. Mm. Um, and there's a lot of strategy that goes into art. And then especially when you get into the psychology of customers and, right. you know, th- and things like that, like art is super important. It's, it's a signal. It uh, organizes things. So you love Target because of how well organized it is and Absolutely. how it makes you feel when you go in there. Somebody designed that and there was strategy that went into that. So art is strategic. Right. And, yeah. and, and, and when you talk about that, that drawing, thank you for mm-hmm. sharing all of that, because it's not just, you know, it's even more detailed because it's the colors, it's mm-hmm. the character fonts and stuff like that. Absolutely. So, no, I appreciate you sharing all of that. Now, I know when you started Cheers Creative, you were just focusing on like creating logos, web designs, stuff like that. But recently you shifted mm-hmm. into more so brand strategy and talk about that. Mm-hmm. So talk about what that looks like, but also talk about why the shift. Yeah. Why the shift? Mm-hmm. Well, so I, again, I came out of college knowing all things design and things like that. But then I started noticing um, as I was designing and then as we started working on projects at Cheers, the most successful clients we had were the ones who did not wait on a, a logo or a website. 
Gotcha. to get started running their business. Like, right. they were just out there. Right. And so when they came to us maybe a year or two later, they were busting at the seams with content, testimonials, and products that were validated. In mm. other words, they had tried their products, put them out there as rough drafts. I know that's scary for a <laughs> lot of people to do because we want to make things perfect, but right. these people were out there with no website, no nothing, right. getting feedback and validating their ideas and had a more solid business. Right. So all they needed us to do at that point was to take all the pieces, almost like you're looking at Scandal and Olivia Pope whenever mm -hmm. she looks at the case, she putting all the pieces uh, on the glass to see everything. And that's how we look at your content. And then from there we say, okay, this is your tone of voice that you should probably use. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, the audience and this is how we're going to talk to them. Now let's take all of that and let's put you know, a logo to it, brand colors and fonts and how, let's talk about how all those things will play together. And then let's talk about how we're going to use all that stuff on your website, you know. Um, and so we noticed that people also, just that educational component, because mm -hmm. when we were designing, we were also consulting. And then we realized that consultant, <laughs> that consultant is a component that people just need that by itself. I hear that. You know, um, so that's when we started just consulting and saying, hey, um, let's do a branding consultation. Let's do a web audit. Um, let's, you know, talk about what's going on with your with the nuts and bolts of your brand. Um, and, you know, I just I've seen what happens when a business owner kind of brands themselves backwards. They mm. kind of have an idea. And then they go get a logo, gotcha. <laughs> you know, and 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 then it's, you know, something that might be a little amateurish. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, and then they grow and they're like, I want to change my mind, you know, yeah. but your logo Early has a startup. Life. Yeah. yeah and it. so now you having to rebrand and when you have to rebrand just when you get momentum. Now you're losing momentum, right. you know, so now you're creating brand confusion. Yeah, right. right. Absolutely. So that's why I was like, let's just get people from the start or people that know they need to make a change and let's get them thinking about the right things. Let's just get them thinking about income generating activities. Let's get them thinking about their audience and the structure of the business and their pricing before we start talking about logos and websites and all that. I hear that. Thank mm -hmm. you for sharing all of that for sure. Now I want to shift gears here just a little bit because uh, you talked, you know, back in 2018, you gave a talk mm -hmm. uh, at the awards ceremony mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. Startup Nation, if you're not for, sh for sure what that is, awards is a website awards that recognizes and promotes the talent and effort of the best developers and designers, designers and web agencies in the world, mm -hmm. in the world, Craig, <laughs> right? Of so, the world. In the world, right? So you were talking about, you know, brand strategy and things of that nature. And you mm -hmm. were talking about some of the stuff that you learned in corporate America and mm -hmm. how they would give you these brand strategy guides mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And they'll be mm -hmm. like 200 pages thick. Mm -hmm. So, and I and imagine that like a lot of that info and insight inside of there is like very valuable to entrepreneurs. So oh, if yeah. I were to pick up one of those brand strategy guides, mm -hmm. what would I see in there that would be advantageous mm -hmm. to me as an entrepreneur? As an entrepreneur? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you, uh, a, a brand guide is just simply a guide that shows you and everyone on your team and anybody who touches any of your visuals, uh, it shows them exactly how to use your logo, what colors your what what your brand colors are, how what size your logo should be on certain things, uh, what fonts you should be using for your headlines, gotcha. and body copy, and things like that. And it can even go as the far as far as uh, talking about what is the tone of voice for the text you use in emails and on your landing pages and on your websites. What is the tone of the photography? Um, that you're going to use. If you have packages or boxes, it shows, hey, where do the logo, where should the logos be placed on your boxes? So basically, it's almost like a brand Bible. That's what I call a it. Brand Bible. Yeah, basically, you know, it just shows that that's what helps everything to be conti uh, have continuity. Gotcha. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. And if you did, because I imagine you help people build a brand Bible mm -hmm. as well, right? Mm -hmm. And if you need a brand Bible, Startup Nation, make sure you go to cheerscreative.com and contact the team at Cheers Creative so you can get your, your brand Bible and scale <laughs> your, your business today. So I want to ask you this, mm -hmm. because back in 2016, you wrote a piece on LinkedIn, mm -hmm. and it was entitled The Case for Simplicity in Design. And there's mm -hmm. a quote in there that really stuck out to me. It says simplicity is not basic, mm -hmm. it's genius. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so I'm I'm glad I want to talk about that a mm -hmm. little bit because I see people all the time. Like one person came to me and was like, Hey, I got this brand 
and it's like it was like so much going on like it's yeah. purple because it's this and it's white because it's this and it's just like whoa there's like too much going it's on it's a lot going on talk about why simplicity is so important and ingenious in your yeah. in your words simplicity works because simplicity involves you uh this it, it makes you go through this process of only including what is necessary i hear that okay so a lot of times you know when you see a junked up business card <laughs> where the company's mission statement is on there you know, what? or you go to a website and the first thing you see is the company timeline. <laughs> um, uh -oh. Or, oh, here we go, huh? Uh, um, we here you now, know, so. and, yeah, we here, right? Right, we here now. Um, and I'm naming things, those, all those things important, yeah, but that's not showing the client what's in it for them, you I know? Mean, so, and to, to, to yeah, yeah, so sure. to get to that, you have to strip away all the things that aren't necessary, you know? Um, and so, you know, a lot of times you see logos with extra graphic elements in them. And what I find is sometimes and in, in doing this consulting on a deeper level, what I find is a lot of business owners don't feel like they're enough. Right. So what they do is mm -hmm. they'll request things that, you know, is got all this extra fluff in it and they don't realize that they don't need all that stuff, gotcha. you know, to stand, to stand alone. So yeah, simplicity involves me really taking into account how a person is going to use a thing and only... Uh, including the necessary parts, uh, like that's why you love your phone. That's why you love your favorite apps, your your phone that you ch that you use, right. your favorite service. All of it is easy and simple, and that's because they took all the bulk out of that gotcha. thing. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing that. That that is so and important. That, and that and that ain't cheap. Oh no 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 no! You you got to pay to play. You got to play. You got to pay to play for play. sure. Yeah. For sure. Thank you for sharing that. Real quick before mm -hmm. to go to break. Because, you know, you, you're an entrepreneur. You've also been to college. And we know mm -hmm. we hear this debate now oh, yeah. as far as like, you know, should I go to school? Should I not go to school? Tuition rising, oh, yeah. debt, stuff like that. Let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. In order to be a successful entrepreneur, mm -hmm. do you have to go get some form of education? Or you think I just need uh, an idea and a dream and just go for it? What what, what do you yeah, think is the best I, I, And I love go? answering this question. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think it depends on what your profession is. If that. you want to be a counselor... It's in your best interest. You to might go, want to get some you know, certifications, you, right. doctor, lawyer, things like that. You know, yeah, um, gotcha. <laughs> you know, like I, I hear that that argument that you know, college degrees are, you know, you don't need that now. Mm -hmm. um, not yet. You know what I mean? I <laughs> but I also at the same time, right? I have to. Uh, none of my mentors, you know, who making six and six figures a month and seven figures. None of them have stepped foot inside of a college, mm. you know, um, they had a plan. I hear that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, well, we got one mentor. Yeah. He went to uh, school, but did not go to school for graphic design, you know, like, right. so it's, I think what happens and I had this too, cause I got out of no seven. What happens when you go to college is you come out with this mentality sometimes like, I will be rewarded automatically because mm. I have this paper. And I think so th that's the that's the reason, that thought process, more so than the institution of college, that thought process is why a lot of people don't come out doing what they thought they would do. I hear that. And if, I even had a, a graphic design student ask me, how can I convince employers to hire me over people who've had who don't have degrees? How can I convince them that I'm the one? I was like, you got to be better. I hear that. It's simply that. You just got to be better. That's, that's that. Absolutely, yeah. for sure. Thank you for sharing that. So we're going to go ahead and take a quick break. And when we come back, mm -hmm. we're going to have a little bit of fun. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. You're listening to The Startup Life on KWAM 107.9 FM AM 990. Let's go. Startup Nation, we tell you all the time that no one does anything great on their own. That includes starting a business or a nonprofit or even becoming a thought leader or an influencer. My point is that you need a team to do it successfully and responsibly. And that is why you should contact DR and Associates. Danielle and her team provide branding solutions along with digital and social media marketing that provide tangible results you are looking for. No matter if you are a Fortune 500 company or an author looking to make an impact, DR and Associates needs to be part of your team. They are one of the few firms whose leadership has been recognized by Google, which is proof of concept that they are very good at what they do. Contact DR and Associates today to grow your online presence. The number is 615-933-3681 
or you can visit their website at drandassociates.com. Also, make sure you follow their Facebook page as well, DR and Associates, providing real clients with real results. This episode of The Startup Life is also brought to you by our amazing partners at SCORE Memphis. Look, entrepreneurship is hard, and there is nothing like a mentor that can help you navigate those waters. And that is what SCORE provides. SCORE mentors provide years of expertise and have resources that will have you flourishing and profitable on your path to entrepreneurship. If you are in need of a mentor, give SCORE a call. The number is 901-544-3588 or go to their website at memphis.score.org. The link is there in the show notes. Startup Nation, Kenda and I, along with our daughter Zoe, have this thing called Target Fridays if she's had a good week at school. We stop by the snack bar for popcorn and mermaid ices. Startup Nation, don't judge me until you've tried them. Those ices are really good. Anyways... We then head over to the toy section so my daughter can add to her LOL doll collection. My daughter is a pretty good student, so you can imagine that we have spent a small fortune on LOL dolls. However, I can take solace in the fact that Target makes it affordable to buy those LOL dolls and anything else we need as a family. That's because Target believes you deserve quality at an affordable price. And when you're entrepreneurs like us, that's extremely important. But great deals and quality products are not exclusive to the brick and mortar version of the retail store. Target.com has even more exclusive deals that you can appreciate. And when you spend over $35, shipping is free. And I know we all love free shipping. We love to purchase the amazing kids' clothes for Zoe from the exclusive to Target Cat and Jack line when we go online. So the next time you listen to the show and you are reminded that you need something for your home, Start your Target journey with the link in our show notes, where you can expect more and pay less. All righty, welcome back to The Startup Life. Before we get back into our conversation, I want to shout out a few people that are watching on Facebook. We got Lawrence Thompson. Lawrence Thompson said he definitely brands himself backwards. You might want to give Cheers Creative a call, my brother, for sure. Darnell Reed, who I know you was on his podcast uh, as well, my get my good friend and business partner Ron Brooks, uh, Bimini Cunningham. Thank you guys so much for watching uh, the show on Facebook, and you can watch the Facebook uh, live stream as well on KWAM The Voice uh, Facebook page or on the Startup Life uh, as well for sure. So I want to ask you this because I went to your personal website DanaJamesMwange.com, dot com and I downloaded uh, your your free ebook that you have Level Up Seventeen Online Business Tools for Creative entrepreneurs i know i use on their slack Mm -hmm. canva is my savior oh yeah right (laughs) for sure and a few other ones Mm -hmm. on there so i want to ask you two questions real quick okay what's one that's like an underrated tool that people kind of like don't really pay attention to Uh and what's the overall value you wanted people to get from your ebook so you know what the underrated tool would probably even though people swear by it, Mm -hmm. you know, but it's still to me underrated because I don't think people understand what exactly what can be done with it Mm -hmm. is all of the, uh, the Google apps like Uh, that, that Google suite. Um, and I find now I spend most of my days in that. I hear that. Cause I feel like that's where I, um, if it comes to strategy and design if strategy is sharpening the iron, then design is like striking once really. Mm -hmm. So like in those apps, that's where I'm formulating and writing and working with collaborators, you know. Um, so that, yeah, I love that. And I also, um, the, the other one, the other underrated tool, I would say is voice dictation. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's because, a good one. Because, and what, when I say voice dictation, I'm talking about the ability to turn on that feature on your phone or device. Mm-hmm. And, it, you know, it'll type as you talk. Right. And when you have something to say, like a blog post and you got an interview to do, just talk it out, talk, or, talk it out and clean it up. Right. Or, right. Or you, I'm sorry to me to cut you off. Mm-hmm. But even if you have like an idea that mm-hmm. you want to jot down, like if you're driving or something like that, mm-hmm. you know, so no, I, I definitely with you there mm-hmm. for sure. But I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. No, it's all good. Mm-hmm. Um, and also I guess with the, with the level up guide, I just wanted to share tools that I have used, share uh, tools that we have used on our clients right. to help them be more professional. I hear that. Um, because, you know, I have a mentor that told me every time you talk to someone, every interaction, every email, every phone call is an opportunity to brand yourself. Mm. So when you meet me or the, or the things that I put out, you know, when I have a contact form and you get a response that's professional and all that other stuff, these tools are heightening 
um, my you know my my platform as a professional, as an right. expert, and even as an authority. For you sure. know, and so I just wanted to give. I want, and then also people get paralyzed, and they think doing the work or, or researching all day is doing the work. You know, mm. and it feels good to be like, I'm working on research and I think I'm going to use this for my landing page. I think I'm going to use this for my payment gateway. And it's been six months. Mm. So I'm what I'm hoping is that that PDF helps people right. to just get going. Right. Choose some, pick, pick, pick something and right. go. <laughs> you are so right about that. People take yeah. this rocking horse mentality like mm-hmm. just because you're moving you think you're moving mm-hmm. forward and that's simply mm-hmm. not always true like, i mean research right. is important it's very important it's very important but ain't it's not the work it's not it's not the work mm-hmm. thank you for sharing all of that for sure and startup nation if you want to get that free pdf i did mention that it was free right like super free <laughs> go to dana james com. if you listen on the podcast replay the link is there in the show notes for easy access i want to ask you about this because you have celebrities out there that have like tremendous branding power Mm -hmm. like when you like they're so they're so important like you can just say one name and you all know beyonce right rihanna right right you know kardashian Mm -hmm. right you know love them or hate them Mm -hmm. they have super brand power but i want to ask you about rihanna in in particular because you know she launched uh fenty Mm -hmm. uh, back in 2017 Mm -hmm. you know and so like when she launched it like it spread like wildfire you know what i mean yeah why does somebody like Rihanna? i mean besides we're having great music and stuff like that why is it that Somebody like a Rihanna can just has this brand power that just resonates with people. What is it about her? Or people like her for that First matter? of all, Rihanna is a genius. Mm-hmm. And Rihanna takes risks. I hear that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this. First of all, Beyonce fans and everybody that's part of the Beehive, I am too, uh, part of the Beehive. Yeah, could, but be careful because Beyonce you know come you. has been reigning now mm-hmm. for about 20 years. Right. And then in comes Rihanna said, "Okay, I'm gonna go asymmetrical. I'm gonna go mm. black. I'm gonna, so when they, so when the number one goes this way, I'm gonna go that way. Mm. Everybody else was trying to do the billowy hair. She said, "I'm gonna start wearing asymmetrical stuff. I'm gonna do a different style. I'm gonna be edgy, and it worked. I hear that. And she kept doing it. Um, and she built that personal brand, but." And just people really, I think people loved her for that. Like, she stands on her own. She's in no one's shadow. She completely allowed the people around her to help her reinvent herself. Then this Fenty line, yeah, she has star power, Mm -hmm. but now, I mean, consumers can smell BS. For sure. You know what I'm saying? For sure, absolutely. So she has a star power, but... I don't care how much star power you have. When you're on some BS, you can't get away with any and everything, right? Yes. So but with this Fenty line, it was it's, she's not just selling makeup. She is selling this, you know, just she's being inclusive, you know. Mm. And so black women have been looking so long. Right. For found, like even me, you would think I'd be able to find a nice shade for myself. Right. But my tone is neutral. It's not too warm. It's not too cold. Gotcha. That means I can't wear something that's just tan. So this woman came out with a line of 40 shades with all those different undertones mm. to where everybody who from white to the darkest hue right. could wear it. And we was like, oh, my God, yes. And it was just so much thoughtfulness that was put into it. She made her brand not about her. I That's that how is, she won. That is so important. I am so glad you said that mm-hmm. because we have uh, many people, you know, from, you know, from mm-hmm. uh, uh, small business entrepreneurs, even people mm-hmm. – on the likes of a Rihanna and stuff like that to mm-hmm. where they just think, oh, I can just throw my name on something mm-hmm. and it's going to instantly sell. But when mm-hmm. you talk about Fenty and what she did, like mm-hmm. she really did the work. She did. She did the work, right? Mm-hmm. And and she she really did serve an underserved mm-hmm. market. So, no, that that's super important. And that's all encompassing in a mm-hmm. brand. So mm-hmm. I appreciate you and, sharing that. Go and ahead. I just wanted the time. You have to look at the timing, too. Okay. She didn't come out with that makeup brand when she did her first album. Ooh. Or even, or even when she did uh, "Good Girl Gone Bad" in two thousand six, right. two thousand, two thousand seven, mm-hmm. when she did that, I mean, this is just now happening. 
years into her career. Like Oprah says, you can have it all, just not all at once. I hear that. So she waited that. to the right time to drop that. And then uh, the clothing, the fashion, the lingerie, mm-hmm. like all of that was just expertly planned. Gotcha. And, and you know what? To be fair, it launched in 2017. But who's to say she hasn't been working on it since 2012? She was working on it probably like for that. years yeah, before exactly. that. Yeah. Right. Exactly. It, it actually reminds me of uh, Tracy Ellis Ross mm-hmm. with Patterns, right? Mm-hmm. She talked about like she had been, before we heard of Patterns, she had been working on it for 10 years. Mm-hmm. So I definitely understand that for sure. Dan, I want to play a little game with you. Okay. So I, you, you may have heard of the game, you know, One Must Go, but I ain't trying to get you in trouble with future prospects for right. jobs. So we're going to invert that a little <laughs> bit. So let's just talk about, you know, hey, G, real quick, let me get a little, little game show music, if you will. I'm going to put you on the spot here a little bit, Dana. So let me ask you this. We're going to we're gonna flip it and mm-hmm. say uh, one you can't live without. Okay, cool. Okay, is that cool? Because we, like I said, we ain't trying to get you in trouble. <laughs> so I'm going to give you four brands, and you tell me which one you can't live without. Okay, let's go. Apple, uh-huh. Target, McDonald's, FedEx. Which one Ooh. can you not live without? I'm going to say because of what I do for a living. Okay. It would have to be Apple. Apple? I can't. I can't. I, can't, I just I cannot. Um, it's be, Everything just works together so well. Like, I can airdrop whatever I need to anybody in here. I can, you know, um, <laughs> that's true. You know, all my files are the same on every device, and everything just works well, just together so beautifully. Like for sure. Um, a few years ago, when I was just freelancing and still working uh, my my nine to five, I had a side uh, potential side gig, and I almost lost the job because I didn't have a Mac. Wow! I kid you not. That's crazy. Kid, yeah, I mean. I don't think that's common practice, but still, <laughs> you know, it's like, you, how we gonna get these fights to you? I'm like, Andrew, I mean, what you mean? Got but, you. She, but yeah, got you yeah. for sure. I, I can definitely say that I had a, I had a job interview somewhere once with another radio company, not right. anybody here in Memphis, it was right? Like another company somewhere else. And uh, they say, well, have you ever used the, the, the this software on a Mac? I said, well, no, I have the same software. I just use it on PC. Right. Mm-hmm. And they're like, well, you, what do you mean you never used it on a Mac? Like, I've never used, I don't own a Mac. Though. You, you do audio production and you don't own a Mac. I'm like, I didn't think this was such a big right. deal. Like, right. Oh, the discrimination. For sure, for sure. So we're going to go ahead. Oh, you better say something real quick? No. Okay, all right. We're going to go ahead and take a quick break. And when we come back, I'm going to ask you about a certain teacher that made an impact on you. Okay. This is the startup life with Dominic Lawson on KWM The Voice AM 990 107.9. Startup Nation, we tell you all the time that no one does anything great on their own. That includes starting a business or a nonprofit or even becoming a thought leader or an influencer. My point is that you need a team to do it successfully and responsibly. And that is why you should contact DR and Associates. Danielle and her team provide branding solutions along with digital and social media marketing that provide tangible results you are looking for. No matter if you are a Fortune 500 company or an author looking to make an impact, DR and Associates needs to be part of your team. They are one of the few firms whose leadership has been recognized by Google, which is proof of concept that they are very good at what they do. Contact DR and Associates today to grow your online presence. The number is 615-933-3681 or you can visit their website at drandassociates.com. Also, make sure you follow their Facebook page as well, DR and Associates, providing real clients with real results. This episode of The Startup Life is also brought to you by our amazing partners at SCORE Memphis. Look, entrepreneurship is hard, and there is nothing like a mentor that can help you navigate those waters, and that is what SCORE provides. SCORE mentors provide years of expertise and have resources that will have you flourishing and profitable on your path to entrepreneurship. If you are in need of a mentor, give SCORE a call. The number is 901-544-3588 or go to their website at memphis.score.org. The link is there in the show notes. Startup Nation, Kenda and I, along with our daughter Zoe, have this thing called Target Fridays if she's had a good week at school. We stop by the snack bar for popcorn and mermaid ices. Startup Nation, don't judge me until you've tried them. Those ices are really good. Anyways, 
We then head over to the toy section so my daughter can add to her LOL doll collection. My daughter is a pretty good student, so you can imagine that we have spent a small fortune on LOL dolls. However, I can take solace in the fact that Target makes it affordable to buy those LOL dolls and anything else we need as a family. That's because Target believes you deserve quality at an affordable price. And when you're entrepreneurs like us, that's extremely important. But great deals and quality products are not exclusive to the brick and mortar version of the retail store. Target.com has even more exclusive deals that you can appreciate. And when you spend over $35, shipping is free. And I know we all love free shipping. We love to purchase the amazing kids clothes for Zoe from the exclusive to Target Cat and Jack line when we go online. So the next time you listen to the show and you are reminded that you need something for your home, Start your target journey with the link in our show notes where you can expect more and pay less. Welcome back to the startup life. We are talking to superstar in chief Dana James Mwange. So I want to ask you this because, you know, you got a a big time event coming up tomorrow, right? Over at at our good friends at Epicenter. Love Epicenter, Leslie Smith and and, and company and stuff like that. Kind of talk about, and I know know it's sold out, it's packed out. So it's going to be like a revival. Like you said, I, like I, I see in there. I, I see the the screenshots of all the people who signed <laughs> up. Like, oh, it's he gonna be on. Back, back. It's gonna be on and popping. Talk about the value all those people who signed up are about to get tomorrow. Oh boy, we're about to bust these branding myths wide open. Uh-oh. This is not about to be brand your busters. regular schmegle, <laughs> regular schmegle. Branding is what people say about you when you leave the room <laughs> this is not what this is gotcha. we're going to show you how to use some uh give you some actionable tips that you can um use on your business as soon as you leave as far as uh telling your story and all that good stuff and and how that actually translates into sales gotcha mm-hmm. gotcha i hear that once again and yeah i know you have a, other events that's going to come up in the future and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So clearly, you know, follow her on social media, Facebook, LinkedIn. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're on Twitter? Uh, yes. You're on Twitter? We're okay. Mm-hmm. Check all that. If you're listening on the replay in the show notes uh, as well, DanaJamesMwange.com, CheersCreative.com uh, as well. I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit because I want to ask you kind of a big question a little bit. Okay. Okay. So I saw the amazing piece Choose 901 did on you. Yeah. Going back to the Wooddale. Yes, Wooddale. High school, right? <laughs> I mean, it ain't Westwood, but it is what it is. Oh, man, we ain't going to do that. We ain't going to do that. <laughs> we ain't going to do that because we're having a good time today. <laughs> but you went back to Wooddale uh-huh. and, you know, you talked about, you know, uh, mentors because this is National Mentor Month and yeah. stuff like that. And you talked about your art teacher, Miss Miss Martin. Yeah. And I could tell that, you know, it, 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 you, it, you were having a moment mm-hmm. talking about her. Mm-hmm. Tell me, cause, and, and think about your career, your company up until this point, talking mm-hmm. at the award ceremony, yeah. being on Forbes, being on Essence, yeah. giving packed out, you know, brand sessions and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Talk about the impact Miss Martin had, had on you as an art teacher that has led you to this point. It was her class. It was the fact that I had an outlet I hear that. Period. And art was something that I was extremely good at. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, matter of fact, my mother told me I had been drawing since I was four. Mm. You know, I was like, okay, well, that's me, you know. Um, and so this class was the class where I could just kind of zone out from the day. Because I, I wasn't popular, you know, I wasn't, I was, you know, I was just, you know, nerdy art kid. Gotcha. Um, and that class was just a, a way for me to get away from all that that noise and uh-huh. all that stuff. And Miss um, Martin taught like the basics and and things like that. And um, I mean, it was just really really good for me. And I, I I mean, I I could draw, but I could also sing. So I you know dabbled in some of that stuff too in, in, in oh, high just school. An artist, artist. I, I, I guess so. I, I guess, know. You know. It is what it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but. Um, yeah, and she she just and the, some of those techniques I carried that with me to college. I hear that, you know, um, and it was just very very helpful. Um, and then when I reconnected with her on Facebook, it was yeah, it was I was like, man, look at what has happened in your life since then. Because when I was in high school, I didn't think that I would have a career in art. I was taught, or society kind of taught me that art is something you put up. Right. When you get grown. Right. And I talked to so many adults that's like, I used to draw real good. Mm. I used to be able to do this. I used to make that. 
And I'm not the only artist in my family. I got, you know, kin folks that draw me under the table. Gotcha, you know what I'm right. saying? And I'm just so glad they didn't put that away. I hear that. You know? Um, and so, yeah, she was like, man, yeah, that this is great for me to hear that you're doing this now. Right. Mm -hmm. One of the things I know, and my wife, who, who's looking in on Facebook, thank mm -hmm. you, sweetheart. Uh, I need them views. Um, <laughs> she, she's been a, she was a teacher for mm -hmm. over 10 years. Mm -hmm. And she talks about like seeing her kids out into the society, into the world, mm -hmm. make an impact, you know, whether it just be like, mm -hmm. you know, uh, through, you know, just having a job, going mm -hmm. to college, going to the military. And so mm -hmm. I, I, it's very important for teachers to see that. I'm glad she got yeah. to see that with you. Yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> I want to ask you this because, you know, I believe all entrepreneurs have a superpower. What's mm. your entrepreneur superpower, Dana? Who? I understand the art of presentation. I hear that. I, hear uh, that. I know how to take a whole bunch of information and make it easy to understand. Mm -hmm. And I know how to take design and make it even more easy to understand and attractive. Um and I practice talking in the simplest terms. Got you. You know, some stuff, sometimes I run stuff by my son. And if he's interested in it, if he understands it, then I know, okay, it, this is the language I need to kind of be gravitating towards even when I talk to adults. Gotcha. Or when I'm designing for adults. You know, mm -hmm. that's, I think that's my superpower. I hear that. I hear that. Thank you so much. And before I ask the last question, Dana, I just want to say thank you so much oh. for coming on. The start of life here on KWAM, The Voice, AM 990, 107.9 FM. You gave amazing value from the importance of fostering, you know, that, you know, the entrepreneurial uh, you know, mindset, creativity and innovation and why aesthetics yeah. into a business are super important. Because like you said, you can have all the nuts and bolts, mm -hmm. that proof of concept that your idea works. Mm -hmm. But you got to attract them mm -hmm. to the business in the first place. Mm -hmm. And so that's where you come in. And Startup Nation, make sure you go to the show notes and, and check out CheersCreative.com and check out DanaJamesMwange.com. And also make sure you follow her on all social media. She is a must follow. But I want to turn the microphone over to you. Okay. So there's an entrepreneur out there feeling stuck in their business mm. or they're afraid to start. They're afraid to jump off that cliff. Dana, mm -hmm. If you would, give them some words of encouragement before we head on out today. Everybody that you admire is scared to death. Mm. Nobody that you admire is comfortable because they're doing things that nobody has done or they're doing things differently. You can't let fear stop you. You can let it be a signal that you should probably go do the thing, um, but do it scared and do it and put it out there even though it's not perfect. You know, you see a lot of polished businesses that's been around for 20 and 30 years, and then you come out saying, that's what I want. That's what I want right now. But it took those businesses years to get those things. So just be out now and be in the rough and just, you know, just be out there like that, almost like, um, you know, like you have a rough draft of your product out and see how people respond to it and like it. You know, um, and then just worry about the visuals and what it looks like later. Like, like when we talked about building a car, and that paint goes on last. You know what I'm saying? So just take your time, you know, um, and just be patient with the results of what you're putting out, you know, um, and just just give it a try, like and and I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna have an honest moment with you. If there are some um, lim there may be some limiting beliefs that you suffer from uh, that keep you from going far. Oftentimes, I find that uh, business owners kind of know what they need to do. They're just scared to do. There's so much free information out here. There's paid premium information right. and free information, and for you to not to be living in this time and not be taking advantage of all the free information out there, it's because somebody probably told you you should not be out front. I hear that. I hear and that. if that's the case, then you have to address that. Even if that means going to therapy or getting counseling or joining some type of entrepreneurship support group, because when you feel that way, you're going to brand that way. Gotcha. So I'm getting kind of personal, but we got to get there because then now you got to, now you got messaging that sounds like you're scared, you know? 
Gotcha. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. And that's going to wrap up this session of the Startup Life. Thank you so much for having, for coming on the show, Dana. We really appreciate you. And we will talk to you next week, Startup Nation. Thank you so much. Be about that life, the Startup Life. Let's go.